Yasmin used to be Mindy. Raised by strict Southern Baptist parents, five years ago she decided to swap her business suit for a burqa. My life didn't have any meaning and I just couldn't figure out what my purpose was. When I found Islam, I realized that the purpose of everyone is to worship Allah. After converting, Yasmin arranged herself a husband and they now have three kids. She's so devoted to Islam, she follows the Quran to the letter, a guiding force in difficult times. I think that Islam is offering a new way of life to many people in America. And I think that it has the solution to a lot of prevailing evils in society. I mean, you know, there's a rape every minute, drug abuse, very high divorce rates adultery, fornication. All of these things are very destructive to the moral fiber of any society. Sister, sister, I have an announcement. Sister Marguerite, Sister Marguerite wants to take the Shahada. What? Allah, 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 Take a circle. She's ready to accept the planet. Sister, there's a, there's a, there's a lady here. She's going to make Shahada. Allah, Akbar. Talk beer! Talk beer! Okay, come on! Go ahead and take it. We'll join the floor. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. There's no god but Allah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Every time somebody embraces Islam, subhanAllah, it always reminds me of when I took the shahada myself. And it's just very um, emotional for most people. And I'm just happy and I hope that Allah guides her to the straight path and gives her the knowledge of esteem and success in this life and the next life. Caddo Mills is a one-horse town on Route 66. It's got one gas station, one grocery store, six churches, and one white Muslim, David. Islam emphasizes a lot of the same ideals that this country was actually founded on. Ideals of individual rights for all people, equality under the law. I would say that being Muslim has helped me to better appreciate the values on which the country was founded, and I think to a certain extent the country has forgotten. At this point I couldn't actually even conceive of not being Muslim. I think uh, it would, it, it's kind of like the idea of thinking about, you know, not breathing. There's a lot of pressure to not convert to Islam. But on the other hand, there's always been an undercurrent in American popular culture of supporting the underdog or uh, you know, not going with the herd. There's plenty of people still in this country that are willing to say, well, I believe this is true and I'm going to go with that, you know, and if anybody doesn't like it, well, nuts to them. Like the other white converts, David actually thinks being Muslim makes him a better American. With his wife Najma and their two daughters, he's living his version of the American dream. But is it tough being the only Muslim family in town? Do people look at us? Yeah, they do. Um, it's so common now that I really hardly even notice it. Um, we actually get stared at by on, on all sides. When we're in the larger non-Muslim society, uh, People stare at my wife or my daughter because they're wearing the hijab, and then they realize they're with that. Hey, they're with that blonde white American guy. Well, what's up with that? So they, you know, they after then they're instead of staring at them, they start staring at me, and then they start staring at all of us. Uh, and it kind of goes the other way in the Muslim community. You know, here's this blonde white guy, and you know, well, who's he? <gasps> He's with her. Well, what's going on there? 
So we kind of get uh, stared, stared at from all sides, but uh, most people are pretty polite about it. You know, they try not to stare. People out here, if anything, are uh, more tolerant than the people in the city. The stereotype of the, you know, the southern bigot is really pretty unfair. Thank you. Thank you. Texans might be tolerant, but it's still a hugely religious state. Surely Bible bashers wouldn't let Christians turn Muslim without putting up a fight. Eric runs his trucking company in downtown Dallas. Is Marion out there? He's a Muslim lone ranger in an office full of Christians. Marianne, Eric, looking for you. For Eric and right-hand man Ron, every day at the office is a religious high noon. Are you a Muslim? <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he will be. I'm the Christian side of this office. He's working on it. <laughs> Southwest. This is the Christian side and it's the Muslim side. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we've been Yes, several times. Everybody in the we've, office? We've had several big conversations. He's a preacher. I'm a minister, yeah. yeah. We have more in common than Eric wishes to care to, uh, no, to let on No, I'm the one that told him about. that we have more in common than he thinks. No. And he now agrees with We him. have more in common than he thinks. He just doesn't want to come to the Christian side. Oh, back home. I, back home would be been the Been there, done back that. Back home. He don't want to come back home. Been there, done that. He don't want to come back home. <clears throat> That's all right. He's coming back. He's coming back home. Islam is everything I wanted Christianity to be. Would, would he consider becoming a Muslim? Yes, but he probably would. When or would? Would he? No. <clears throat> you want to rephrase that? Try him again. Try him one more time. Ron, is it possible? that you could become a Muslim. Depending on how much money <laughs> you all have. No money. <laughs> no money. I mean, you seem to have plenty of money. If you got enough money, I'll become a Muslim. No, I'm not considering it. I'll wear him down. Fax that to this number, and then give me this back. That's 516, which you can barely read. What do you know about Muslims at school? What do most people think? Terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> think you can be a Muslim and a Texan? Well, I don't know because I don't know what their belief is, you know. Do they believe in God? Is that, do you know? I don't know anything about the Muslim religion, but I believe they're God's Allah.